As we kick off Women's History Month to celebrate women's contributions to history, culture, and society, I thought it appropriate to recognize a woman who has contributed significantly to improving the lives of women and children in this state. The woman I've chosen, Corrine Wood, has special significance to me personally. She lived in Lake Forest, Illinois. As an immigrant, my mother came to Lake Forest to live with her sponsor for a time and work as a nanny for the armors of Lake Forest. In addition, Corrine was the office mate for my predecessor, the late Representative Rich Myers. Described as a trailblazer, Corrine Wood was the first woman to serve as Lieutenant Governor for Illinois. But she was much more than that. She was a mother, a wife, a lawmaker, a lawyer, a healthcare advocate, and an ethics champion. Corrine graduated from Loyola University Law School in 1979 and practiced law in Chicago for more than 20 years. Corrine often referred to herself as a recovering attorney. Then in 1996, she was elected to the Illinois House of Representatives, where she sponsored more bills that were signed into law than any other freshman state representative. She was considered one of the hardest working legislators in the Illinois General Assembly, and her hard work did not go unnoticed. Still serving in her first term, Corrine was chosen to run for Lieutenant Governor on the Republican ticket, winning the election in the fall of 1998. On January 11th of 1999, Corrine Wood made history as she was sworn in as the first female Lieutenant Governor of the state of Illinois. Like many women, Corrine was juggling a young family, work, and public service. However, she had an added complication. In early 1997, just before being chosen to run for Lieutenant Governor, Corrine was diagnosed with breast cancer and began intensive treatments. It was her experience with cancer that led her to focus on women's health issues. While she had access to the best health care, not everybody did. And not content to take a back seat, Corrine immersed herself in programs that she cared about. As Lieutenant Governor, she led the Women's Health Illinois Initiative to improve women's health, and she launched a campaign to increase funding for the state's Breast Cancer Research Fund. Not coincidentally, contributions to the Breast Cancer Research Fund doubled in the campaign's first year. She also served as the chairman of the Governor's Rural Affairs Council, the Illinois Rural Bond Bank, and the Rivers of Illinois Coordinating Council. She was the head of the Illinois Main Street Program, which promoted economic development in communities throughout the state. And she championed Scott's Law, requiring drivers to reduce their speed and change lanes when approaching emergency vehicles. She was also appointed to lead the State Government Accountability Council. Even with all of the responsibilities and the added burden of fighting cancer, Corrine made sure that she paved the way for other women in politics, encouraging and mentoring girls and young women, myself included, to get involved in their communities and supporting women candidates in big ways. And most important, setting an example for how politics can benefit everyone in the state which often meant reaching across the aisle to gain support for important programs. After returning to private life, Wood continued to serve the public by getting involved in various healthcare organizations and most recently served on the board of directors for Change Illinois, working for more ethical and efficient governments and elections. 
Corrine courageously battled metastatic breast cancer for 15 years before succumbing to the disease last year. But she never let breast cancer define her. She became a forceful and a meaningful, she left behind a forceful and a meaningful trailblazing legacy. Thank you very much.